What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to something completely different this time. This is the movie Hakubo, uh, which I believe in English is meant to be synonymous with Twilight or Dusk or something along those lines. Um, this is a 52 minute movie that has recently been uh, made available on Crunchyroll. Uh, last week was when it became uh, available for premium members. T uh, today, as I record, this is when it became uh, available to free users. So everyone who watches this video, you can go to Crunchyroll and watch it for free on there, uh, provided you're in whatever licensed country uh, it has. So UK, US immediately obviously is going to do it. I don't know uh, about the rest of Europe or uh, Australia or anything like that. I don't know how th uh, this movie's licensing works, um, but uh, yeah. Here in the UK and US, obviously, it's going to be available. Um, typical Crunchyroll deals. So, uh, I don't know too much about this. I'm trying to get myself relatively blind. Like, I obviously know a little bit about what it's going to be about, because it's a drama romance movie, which immediately intrigues me. I love drama romance. That's one of my favourite combinations. A more serious take on romance and its interpretations and the way it's done. Um, it's one of my favourite things to watch in anime. And uh, you don't get too much of it. Usually when you have romance, it usually goes on to the rom-com side, which is fine. It's entertaining. But I enjoy the serious side of it as well. Um, especially when it's done right and you have build-up and you have that real relatability with characters. Uh, that's why I liked seeing Yesterday uh, for me from last season so much. Um, but this one is based around, uh, or at least is uh, going to be brought about by the uh, Tohoku... Uh, Tohoku, Tohoku, I think I'm saying that right, uh, the earthquake from 2011, which I believe is the biggest earthquake that's ever hit Japan, uh, and like one of the largest earthquakes ever recorded, um, like, this was a huge earthquake, a huge tsunami came from it, and I think Death Toll, the mo most revised one, put it at nearly 16,000, and still thousands unaccounted for, as well as a whole bunch of injuries. Um, so this was a huge, huge earthquake, and it's going to be affecting our main character in some way, and is the catalyst for why these two characters that are going to be romancing, assumably, uh, that's why it's there going to happen. I'll let the show explain how it wants to do that. So, it's an interesting premise, and the only concern I have for this, because... Usually when I watch a, a a romance show, you have four to five hours of content there that you can utilize. And that's a lot of time to build up your characters, as well as side characters, environments, and everything. This is 52 minutes. 52 minutes is two episodes. That's not a lot to get a lot of character development in, character backstory in, and... I, I'm always worried when movies are only like the 15 minute mark. Like for me, anime movies, if you want to have a truly good anime movie, you need to start hitting the hour 30 mark, I think. How much was uh, Silent Voice? Uh, that was like an hour 20, wasn't it? Something like that. Oh no, that was two hours, 10 minutes. Never mind, I forgot. Silent Voice was a really long movie. That is ideal. I think hour 30 to two minutes, that is the perfect movie length for, uh, I think, anime movies, especially when you're dealing with serious topics and you want the drama in them, I think you need this level of length in order to make it really feel like it has substance. So that's my only concern going into this, but I'm more than willing to be proven wrong and be surprised at uh, the products that they're going to put forward to me. So, with that said, uh, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I'm, I usually watch seasonal anime, uh, but this was a new addition to Crunchyroll that I wasn't expecting. And I enjoy a good drama romance, so that's why we're doing this. Uh, as usual for this channel, we do timer-based formats here, which means in the bottom left corner of the screen, you're going to see the time of the episode. I'll count you down 3, 2, 1, play. Then on play, you start your footage, because uh, I can't show or do any of the footage here, because that's illegal. Um, uh, I'll count down 3, 2, 1, play. And then on play, you start footage, I start footage, all good to go. I don't know if this is going to have an opening, per se, because it's a movie. Some movies do include it, some don't. So we'll see if there's an uh, opening animation. If there is, I'll call it out so you know we're roughly in sync. Um, but uh, there might be also, like, uh, studio credits at the beginning, so I'll call them out as they go by so you know we are in sync. Um, but yeah, that's how we do it on this channel, and it's how we'll be continuing to do it more than likely for the rest of the future. Um, 
so yeah, uh, like I said, this is the Crunchyroll version that we're watching, so if your version's a little different, that's probably why. And uh, yeah, let's get into Hakubo, I guess, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. This is a studio logo. I don't know whose, but... Presidio Corporation. Never heard of you. Cool. And uh, Twilight Studio. Right, that's the studio that made this. This is their only work as well, I believe. And here we go. Clouds. Always start with clouds. And the title immediately. Twilight, yes. Very early title card. Okay, we're getting credits over the intro here. Getting credits just over the clouds. Okay. This works, I suppose. I hope they don't hold this for the entirety of the credits. That would be concerning. Also depends how long these intro credits are. Kanosohei. Doing the music. I'm looking forward to music. I always love the music that are in movies, so get some good stuff. I mean, this is a good track right now. I shouldn't be talking over it, obviously, but I don't like being silent for too long. And here we go. Okay, it wasn't too long. That's a very pretty shot. Okay, that's pretty. This looks good. Okay. That's a smile. Violins in the background. Ooh, that's a long commute. Ooh. <laughs> it's a long commute. But it's for a good school, so... Thank you for the fire service. <laughs> mm hmm All right. <laughs> Fair enough. That's good. Yi-chan, Rina, Matsumoto-senpai, okay. Beethoven, okay. Something about violins just gives me that little chill. I like this. That was a really, really abrupt cut, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Going again? Where are you going? Hmm. Uh-huh.
Hmm. Walk home. If it takes you an hour to commute via train and bus, how long does it take you to walk home? I wonder. Fair enough. I can I can see the appeal. Depends on the distance though. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Very nice. Don't know if it's just me, but I'm getting these little weird audio stutters every now and then. Don't know if it's my end or... This is very, very pretty. That's how I love this. That's why. That's why it's named it is. Nice. Okay. That's actually a very pretty shot again. This this looks good. Like, it really does. Ah, uh, she walks here and then gets a bus. Okay. <laughs> okay, bird. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that probably wouldn't have ended well. Ah, uh, I see. Ha <laughs> ha. I see. <laughs> oh boy. That glare. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, all right. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Obsessing over our favorite groups. <laughs> uh. Oh. I love this friend group already. Okay. You say that now. That's a very interesting question, actually. No, that's actually... Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, get in there. Off she goes. <laughs> uh oh.
Mm hmm They love these cloud shots, they really do. Off we go on the bus. Is this our boy, I wonder? I think it is. Again, okay. So this is a regular occurrence. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of them. I mean, when you get into town, I'm sure that would happen. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to go badly, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Who puts this coffee into curry? Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> if that is a thing, that's interesting. I don't think cooking curry is a requirement. <laughs> that's just like, uh, please. <laughs> it spikes out again. Ah, first time I mentioned the earthquake. Mm hmm. Okay. I recognize Senpai's voice from something. I have to look over this cast later. Whoops. This guy. <laughs> oh, this damn pen. <laughs> I wonder why. Mm-hmm. Because... Mm, I bet you he will. Anime producer? Okay. Defying marketing? Okay. I don't know if that's meant to be a real person or not, but... I'll add that to the list.
listen to some music. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, relatively, I suppose you would. He's been looking in that direction this entire time. I think that's a sketchbook he has with him, so... Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. He comes specifically here. Or is this just where he lives? Ah, so it's here for an expedition. Ooh, okay. Fair. Okay. So he's searching for something. There's the bus. They decide not to get on. Oh, next stop, I guess. I'm sure he just appreciates the help. Hey, now we have a chance for regular meetings. And she's actually accepting. Back on the bus. Actually sing together as well. Didn't expect that. Kijinami. Okay. Pheasant, okay. Same year, I guess, okay. Second year middle school, all right. Okay. Earthquake. Mm-hmm. So he had a greater appreciation for everything as it is in the present. Ah, that's actually... It's how you see the world, not how the world physically is. Anyone can show you what the world looks like, but only you can show your show what the world looks like to you. That is that's why art is 
so spectacular because it's your vision of the world and the people that you see and everything. It's a very nice character motivation. Hmm. <laughs> she's so angry I mean she's right but wow uh oof Uh, okay. Just for today, huh? You say that now. And it's just like, oh, it's just one more day. Etc, etc. He's already set up painting, alright. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, really? The Green Ray, okay. Is that a real movie? <laughs> DVDs. Well, you were vast enough to have Blu-rays by now. No, they're showing off the grass budget here. Oh ho ho! Yeah, he was paying attention. All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, this scenery makes you think. Okay. Very nice. He knows that okay. All right.
Okay. Mm-hmm. That's also true. Mm -hmm. That was sudden. <laughs> I like this guy. I like him. My man. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. Just talk to each other online when you need to. She's opening up to someone new. She's even skipping, alright. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I love this. I I love this family. How do you burn Hamburg steak? Come on. How do you mess up how do you mess that one up? That's pretty easy. Anyway. <laughs> no, it's not dating yet. I don't know. Naturally. <laughs> uh. Oh. Mm hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just a good friend. He's a boyfriend instead of a boyfriend. <laughs> wow. I understand the third dimension. <laughs> wow. Yep. Oh, wow, really? He's still waited, though. Mm-hmm. I think that's the hint that it's not... The art was the reason why he initially came, but... That's not why he comes now. Whoops. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Very nice. Oh. 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 Okay. Hmm. Hmm. No, I think it's got to do with the earthquake. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I've got a feeling. Okay. At first I thought it was her, but... First love, back before the earthquake. Oh boy. I... Maybe? Mm-hmm. You're jealous. You're jealous of the idea of him having his attention on anyone else. Her, her mood and everything has changed quite dramatically. Still got that, huh? Okay. Okay. What are we doing? I don't understand, but sure. Interesting. That's an interesting moment. Hmm. She dreaming? Oh, wow. Yeah, she's streaming. <laughs> Is she going to see the aftermath of the earthquake here? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. 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 I mean, obviously it's going to be awkward after that, last night. But why should that just be the only thing? Um, I think he will. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. File up for it. Oh, 
I wonder if he was waiting for her. Hmm? I think. Oh, uh, yeah. He's, I think he fully intends to come still. Yep. Alright. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So I think the sick festival, interesting. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah, focus on finding the boyfriend. Right, <laughs> actually is. <coughs> I doubt that. Mm-hmm. We have oh voice cracks. Let's do this. Where is he? There he is. Here we go. I love how they keep going to him like that. Even Boy's art book with him, interesting. locations he's painted so far, I believe. All right. Okay, it went well. Is he clapping in the back? We didn't see him specifically clapping in the back at any point there. <laughs> I recognize that voice so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep.
Nice. Feel free, can I have something? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at both of them. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Were. Okay, so you actually managed to evacuate. I'm requested love, okay. Okay. Fair. Very common for that sort of thing to happen. The priest stops suddenly like that. Asking the tough questions here. Yeah? He drew her playing the violin. He did. That's an answer. <laughs> oh, damn. That's really good drawing as well. Holy cow. So much better than his, uh, like, his landscapes. Like, way better. I think... I think she believes you, dude. Oh, wow, okay. Out with it. Oh, he's trembling as well. Of course he's nervous. Full moon. Hmm. <laughs> Do you went for the kiss immediately? Wow, my man. Wow. I bet they were. Hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> Pushing a bit far. You just told him off for being too soon. I think that's a little too soon. <laughs> Are we going into ending already, I guess? Oh, 
And there's the credit roll, okay. Now, we still have six odd minutes left. I don't know if the credit's going to take a full six minutes. I don't think they will. I think there'll be an after credits here. At least that's what I'm expecting here. So we'll see what actually happens with that. I've got a few things to look up after this anyway. Um, but yeah, just to get some of my initial thoughts out of the way here. And uh, for those of you who have clicked the link for the discussion portion of this episode, we've still got six minutes of the episode left. Uh, but I've put the timestamp here because I feel like I'm going to be talking over a lot of these credits as we go because I, I can't understand the credits. So I have no, there's nothing here that will help me. So I'm going to use this time to um, just talk about my general feelings of the show. Uh, then we'll look up some stuff after the show ends and we get maybe a post credit scene. Um, this was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. Um, it felt... I think my concerns about the time span kind of realized themselves. Like, I feel like it was quick. It was underdeveloped because it was quick. I feel like, again, this type of show needs more running time. Like, it needs to be longer. That It needs to hit that hour 30 mark at the very least. Like I said at the very beginning of this. Because 50 minutes... Well, not even 50 minutes. This was, what, like 45? 44? Because we've now got a long credit sequence. It's just not enough to have huge amounts of character development. Like, our main character... She feels quite underdeveloped, honestly. Like, they hinted that the earthquake had an impact on her and why she was the way she was and was somewhat closed off. But we have no understanding of why that is. The earthquake, effect the earthquake affected her. Okay, but why? As far as I can tell, she's not been displaced. Family seems to be all present. What about that earthquake hit her so hard? That's what I'm kind of confused about. Because again, as far as I can tell, the earthquake, aside from being a national tragedy, which obviously would affect everyone on some scale, like if something bad happens in a part of the nation, even if it has absolutely no real impact on you, you have empathy for th those around you, or your fellow countrymen, your fellow friends that you might have, or family that you might have in that in that area. So I'm sure that this event, this earthquake, did rock the entirety of Japan. I'm sure, but I just don't see how it affected her in any way. Like it feels underdeveloped. It makes sense for him as to why he was affected by it, and his character motivation and his turning to art. And his desire for art makes a lot of sense. Like, being displaced, seeing what he just took for granted, the, the outside world around him. Like, I'm sure you take it for granted as well, like the world around you. You just, you know your town. You know your, if you're in a rural area like I am. I, I'm fairly rural. Uh, like, this is the biggest town I've lived in, where I am now in this new flat. But I was always a rural kid. I've never lived in a city. Like, this is the biggest town I've ever lived in, and it's not even that big of a town, realistically. Um, it's big enough to have a train station, which is a step up from where I used to live. Um, but that's about it. So, yeah, you just take your surroundings for granted. And it's like, seeing it all wiped out in minutes, because that's all, like, this tsunami went six miles inland. It's a huge, huge area of devastation and a huge loss of life as well. It's like, that's a wake-up call to realise how fragile everything is, how it can just be snuffed out in an instant. Mother Nature does not care. Like, this can just happen and you have no control over it. And that fleetingness that comes with it that's a very nice character motivation for him to have and want to capture it. And the thing he said about photography and going to art instead of photography, I love that as well. Like, you could have played that with a photography idea, especially if since we're doing a more modern adaptation on a modern event. 
turning to photography would be a good idea. But I like that he went to art instead of photography, because art is more personal, I think. I I, I appreciate photography, because you can... If you know the techniques and you know how to utilize a camera, you can definitely get your own personal views and expect and feelings through photography. But I think art has that more personal aspect because it's your interpretation of the world around you. Like, it's your sense of the colors of the world. Like, you're not painting exactly what you'll see. You're seeing your interpretation of it. Cameras can capture the world perfectly. Like, everyone can see the world for what it physically looks like. But what you interpret the world to look like, that's personal to you and you alone. Like, you may have overlap with other people's perspective on the world. Like, I consider myself to have ultimately a pessimistic view on the world. And a pessimistic view on humanity and nature in general. Like, I can definitely... I'm more realist pessimistic, I would say, in my approach. And I'm sure I overlap with several people on that, but... The complete contrast between that and someone who is more optimistic, for example. That's what makes art so interesting. So we've got 10 seconds of after credits here, if anything. Doesn't look like we are. No, we're not. Yuka Yamamoto, Project Hakubo. And that's it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So yeah. Um. Yeah, it was okay. Like... I don't think this was anything special. This isn't anything that's like... This isn't a Violet Evergarden or a Silent Voice or anything like that. It's not going to have that much of a long-lasting impact on me, this type of movie. It just doesn't have... Just didn't have the impact that I feel like it could have had if it was... Um... If it was a bit longer, but uh, it was a good. I, I didn't really mention it because I was talking over it so much. But uh, the credit, the credit song that they were singing, it's a very nice song actually. I, I did enjoy it from what I was hearing whilst I was talking. Um, a very good looking show as well. I'll say this: this show is very good looking. Like if uh, if Studio Twilight puts this much effort into all of their future projects, for example. I will be gladly looking forward to the future projects that they have. As of right now, there is no future projects listed, as far as I can tell. Uh, not on any list, anyway. Let's just have a look to see if I can find anything about uh, Twilight Studio. It's anime producer. Twilight anime. I have an English version of their page, apparently. We start a revolution in Japanese anime trade and make a paradigm shift in knowledge's concepts and values of creating anime in Japan. Start up anime studio and we have an ambition to firmly believe this is a magnificent challenge we only achieve. Uh, okay, uh, legendary anime Wake Up Girls. Wake Up Girls, that sounds familiar. I think it's the same director, right? Probably. I think that's what it is. Wake Up Girls 2015. Holy cow, this was a lot of produced a lot of studios involved in this as well. Like a lot. Tatsunoko and Audet. Although Audet seems to have done nothing since 2016, so they probably got uh meshed together with another studio at some point. Maybe they got meshed into Tatsunoko. Maybe, I don't know. Interesting. Um But yeah, uh, yeah, same director. So the director of Wake Up Girls, uh, Yutaka Yamamoto, is also the director of uh, Hakuba. Uh, director, creator, script. So yeah, uh, I don't see anything on the studio, Twilight Studio. I don't see any information on them whatsoever in terms of uh, a wiki page or anything. I mean, obviously, all I'm seeing is the actual Twilight Saga. As well as the UK video game company, Twilight? I have never heard of them. What do they make? A bunch of 90s games that I don't think I ever played. Apparently they made WrestleMania. Okay, that's something that's probably going to have a, a following at least. Yogi's Treasure Hunt? 
Okay, that was a nice tie-in for Hanna Barbera, I guess. Okay, nothing else that I really did. They did Atari, uh, NES, and SNES. Okay. Uh, ba ba ba. Our anime director has produced a set of free Northeast region in Japan anime composition. Hakubo is the last anime of the trilogy. So it's a trilogy for this guy. Uh, Yutaka Yamamoto. Apparently this is his... What is his trilogy then? I'm going to assume Wake Up Girls? And Blossom is the other one. Where's Blossom? Let's see what Blossom is. Uh... Uh... Let's see. This is a, it's just a five-minute music video. Uh, Zapuni unites Japanese visual artists with world-renowned musicians to create and dedicate videos to charities that help children affected by the Great Tohoku Earthquake and the Fukushima nuclear disaster, because, yeah, there was a nuclear disaster as well uh, due to the damage caused by the earthquake, in Japan with the power of music. So this was a uh, charity to help uh, the children affected uh, for the Zapuni project to raise money for those affected by the Tohoku Earthquake. Okay. And then Wake Up Girls was the next one after that. Uh, apparently he was uh, did director and script on Haruhi as well. Okay. Uh, Wake Up Girls. Uh-huh. Okay, this doesn't seem to have any direct link with the earthquake. As far as I can tell. He's just describing different areas, so... So, Iwate Prefecture, then we go Sendai City in Miyagi Prefecture, and then we finally do Fukushima. Okay, so he was just, uh, just... He was faced on three Northeastern Japans. This was just his, like... Not linked trilogy, but this was his trilogy of areas and that. Okay, good to know. Good to know. That answers that, at least. Okay, okay. Um, I just need to mark that I completed this today. Boo, boo, boo. We completed that. Um, okay, so yeah, I uh, was looking at voice actors. So, uh, Yusuke, our main boy, was played by uh, Seshiro Kato. This is his, well, it's not his breakout role. He was Umaso from You Are Umaso, which was a hour and 30. This was, wow, 2010. He had one role in 2010. And then he didn't do anything else until this, apparently. He looks very, very young, so I'm imagining he may have been a child actor when he did uh, Umasau. I'm guessing he was a child back then, and now he's actually starting to make his break into this. If I had to guess, just based on the picture he has, he looks very, very young. Uh, Seishiro Kato. Interesting. Birthday 2001. Okay. Uh, he's in movies, though. He's been in a few movies and drama series. TV work. Yeah, TV work, TV movies and such. Um, it's apparently an Assassination Classroom movie. And it's sequel. So yeah, he looked like he was a live-action child actor, for the most part, and this is his kind of breakout role into animation and voice acting, I guess. Uh, okay, so Sachi, played by Hiyori Sakurada. Again, only role listed for her. Uh, I am going to assume that uh, it might be the same deal for her. Yeah, 19th of December 2002, so she's 17. So that means she was probably 16 when she made this. Okay, so yeah, this is a bunch of uh, new talent, essentially. Uh, they've been in a bunch of projects as child actors, including Tokyo Ghoul, apparently. You I love? Okay. okay. Interesting, okay. Uh, maybe that's going to be a common theme for all these people, then. Uh, Matsumoto Kanahanazawa, there it is. I knew I recognized something. There we go. Uh, Nedeko from Monogatari. Um, 
what else was it? Uh, I I need to start remembering names and stuff. I'm terrible at associating with them, but yeah, there's Mikan Yuki from Tlavaru, uh, uh, Ruri from Orimo. Where is your um? Aren't you? How? Oh, what is it? There's someone you are, and I can't remember who you are. You're Megamin, right? Am I getting that right, or am I mixing it up? I can't remember. I'm fairly certain you were Megamin. No, you're not. Who were you? You're someone else that I should really remember, but I don't know who you are. Uh, Red Blood Cell, of course. Uh, you're someone else from a big series that I can't remember now. Yeah, you're Hana from Prison School. Who else were you then? Who am I thinking of? Who am I thinking you were? I don't know who I think you are. <laughs> I'm mixing someone up with someone. What on earth did I mix you up as? Mayuri from Steins Gate. Okay, there's the other one. Um, I could have sworn there was something else that I was meant to remember you from. Maybe not. Guess not. Yeah, I guess there wasn't. Okay, I'm just misremembering something. Oh yeah, Canada from Angel Beats. That's another one. Okay, so yeah, I misremembered some of that. Um, was it? No, it wasn't that. Okay, never mind. Uh, she was also in Wake Up Girls, apparently. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, all right, he chan was Ayane Sakura, who has done... Okay, she has got other roles. Okay. Uh, you're Arisa from Love Live. Uh, okay. You're in Nonon Biori. You're in Psychopaths. Oh, you're a rabbit. Okay. Oh, you're Sabe from Your Lie in April. Interesting. Interesting. You're Iraha from uh, My Team Roncom Snafu. Okay. Solution from Overlord. Okay, yeah, this is... I don't know. Chaco from My Hero. Okay, there we go. Yeah, very well-established voice actor here. Bought from Land of the Lustrous. Hell yes. Yeah, there's some good roles in here. Uh, you're Yotsuba from Quintessential Quintuplets. Prince Oigan from Azalane. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, we got some good ones. Carolyn Tuesday as well. Yeah, some really, really... Uh, Ami from Kakushigoto. Uh Oh, you're in Ami from Mid Invaders as well. Okay. Yes. A lot of good stuff there. Cool. Um, then we have... Uh, the mother, Kari Fukihara. Um, oh, the younger sister from uh, Chunibyo. Interesting. Didn't expect that one. But that's about it for shows I've watched. Okay. Uh, where else? Where's the. There's Rina. Uh, Sora Amamiya. I could have swore I recognized you from something. What did I recognize you from? Oops. Uh, Isla from Plastic Memories. Uh, your Mia from Monster Musume. Uh, China from High School. Aqua from Konosuba. There we go. I knew there was something. I knew it. Cruz from Overlords. Yeah, okay. Knew it was there somewhere. Uh, Kemi from uh, Dumbbell. Cool. And uh, Himuro from Science Fan Love. Oh, Science Fan Love. I need to rewatch that soon. I love that series. Um... Uh, Yurina from Pokemon Twilight Wings as well, cool. And Keith from uh, Villainess, interesting, interesting. Cool, alright. Uh, I think that's most of the... Um... No, Megami, uh... no, Megami Koyama was the sister, not the mother. The mother was uh, Satoko, okay. Just make sure I'm getting that one right. Anyway, that was enjoyable. Oh yeah, we were going to look up who the real... If that guy was a real producer. Let's see. Uh, Kigauchi, Kigauchi Hisaki. Nope. Nope. Nothing at all. Is that a reference to a certain anime director? Please let me know, those of you who actually know. Uh, I don't know if that's meant to be a reference, a play on words to uh, anyone. Uh, please let me know of that one. And then The Green Ray, is that a real movie? This is a 1986 film. French film. 
uh, released as the Green Ray in the UK, as Summer in North America, it's part of the Four Seasons series. Fifth film of his comedies and proverbs. Uh, much of the dialogue is improvised. Interesting. About Summer. Okay. Won a golden line. Top ten list. Okay. Interesting. Very nice. Le Rayon Vert. Okay. 80s movie. Good to know. I assume this is the one they're talking about. Based on the novel. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Anyway, that's a pretty long video. <laughs> Done and dusted, isn't it? Um, so long, in fact, that the sun started to come out. Because I started this uh, about 5... Well, just before 5am. And now it's gone 6am, so that means the sun is now out. Yay. Um, so yeah. This was enjoyable. It's not going to be highly rated, I don't think. Not not on my personal list, anyway. It's... It's an alright movie. I can't say anything overly negative about it. I think it needs more runtime. It needed more time to explain the main character, the main girl's um, situation, because they kind of implied that the earthquake had some effect on her, but it, it, it just never came to fruition as to why it had an effect. Like, why would it have an effect? Because for our main boy, it made sense, because um, he had been uh, displaced from his home. Uh, he ultimately his he had an unrequited love that uh, during high school he uh, fell apart with, or fell out of contact with, I should say. Um, so his life was completely upturned, and his whole outlook on life was upturned because of it. Her? Nothing seemed to have changed. Or at least nothing... Nothing seemed to have changed, so I don't know why her outlook would be any different based on that. And it just wasn't explained that very well, I don't think. I think that's where they could have... If they had an extra half hour, which I think this show desperately needed or this movie, I should say, needed. I think then we could explain her side of things, and it would make a bit more sense as to why she was the way she was. It's like, her personality was based on, oh, the earthquake changed her. Yeah, but why? It's like, it's all very well saying something changed your character, but if you don't get into much detail about it, and we don't know the character beforehand, that the thing that changed her, and its effect on her, has so much less meaning, because we don't know what she was like beforehand, we don't know why this event had such an impact on her. Like, we don't know what the uh, the guy was like beforehand, but we know the event, we know what his outlook changed to be, so that made his character a bit more complete. We didn't need to necessarily see him beforehand to understand how he had changed as a person and how his outlook had changed. Her? Like I said, there, there's nothing. We just know her as her. As, like, they didn't even need to mention the earthquake in her character, for it to have any relevance. I feel like that was almost like an afterthought, just so that both our characters could be linked under the idea of the earthquake. That's what it felt like, and I I don't want to say that, because I feel like that's almost insulting to the director of this. Um, but I feel like... I feel like maybe it was a time constraint thing that they ha he had to give up on that. I feel like that should have been explored more, realistically. I don't know. Let me just... I just want to look up one thing. It's a prefecture located in that region. But I just... I don't know. I, I feel like there's not enough explanation as to why it affected her. Like, maybe those that actually know more about the, the region where this actually happened, maybe they'd actually have a bit of understanding. But I just don't think the, it, it came across well enough for... Uh, those who aren't as familiar with it, especially overseas, um, not as familiar with this earthquake and such. So, anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. It's been a bit of a long one, an hour and 16 minutes, but, uh, you know, it was a 52-minute movie. What did you expect? Um, so, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It always helps grow the channel out. Leave a comment on what you thought of the movie. Um, if you share my same critiques or if you think there's other critiques that you want to point out, um, please feel free to uh, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to hit subscribe to see other shows that I react to in the summer 2020 season. I have uh, about a dozen or so shows that I'm currently keeping up with this season, as well as the uh, future shows that I'll be taking part in with uh, Fall 2020 and other movies that will be coming out over the course of, well, this year. 
Thank you for watching. Until next time. See you guys later.